thing is let's take a look at the pins so you can see that pin is down at the bottom and that pin is right at the top so when the pin's been driven in that means it's on hot water and when the pin's been driven out it means it's in central heating so you can see we've got three pins now number two is a neutral and if you put 230 volts to number one it will drive the pin out and if you put 230 volts to number three it will drive the pin in So once we take the outer cover off, this is what we're left with. So if I turn it on the side, you'll be able to see what happens with the pin. It rides up this cam to go in and out. And if we look at the top, we can see the pin slides up and down in these runners. So it can't come out and it can't twist round. So that's the action it's doing when the pins go in, in and out. So now you can see the three pin connections. And again, if I put power onto this one, it will drive it out. And if I put power on this one, it will drive it in. And this is our neutral. So let's see how this works when we put power to these pins. We've got power on number three, so this should take our pin in for hot water. Now let's see how that operates the diverter valve. Now we've got the power on number one, so this should drive the pin out into central heating mode. Let's check that operating the diverter valve. Now, before we take this more apart, let's talk about this bit here, because this is where the magic happens. So, because these are touching and we had power going on here, the power would go through here and then it goes through a spring down here and you'll see that in a minute now obviously the neutral is always there so there's a spring connected to the neutral